The Maldives, U.S., Listen, Divehi, Divhiraj Divehi Raa. J. Officially the Republic of Maldives, is a South Asian country, located in the Indian Ocean, situated in the Arabian Sea. It lies southwest of Sri Lanka and India. The chain of 26 atolls stretches from Ihavanhapalu Atoll in the north to the Adyu City in the south. Comprising a territory spanning roughly 298 square kilometers, 115 square miles, the Maldives is one of the world's most geographically dispersed sovereign states as well as the smallest Asian country by land area and population with around 427,756 inhabitants. Malay is the capital and most populated city, traditionally called the King's Island for its central location. The Maldives archipelago is located on the Chagos Locative Ridge, a vast submarine mountain range in the Indian Ocean, which also forms a terrestrial ecoregion, together with the Chagos Archipelago and Lakshadweep. With an average ground level elevation of 1.5 metres 4 feet 11 in above sea level, it is the world lowest country, with even its highest natural point being the lowest in the world, at 2.4 meters 7 feet 10 in. Due to the consequent risks posed by rising sea levels, the government pledged in 2009 to make the Maldives a carbon-neutral country by 2019. Islam was introduced to the Maldivian archipelago in the 12th century which was consolidated as a sultanate, developing strong commercial and cultural ties with Asia and Africa. From the mid-16th century, the region came under the increasing influence of European colonial powers, with the Maldives becoming a British protectorate in 1887. Independence from the United Kingdom was achieved in 1965 and a presidential republic was established in 1968 with an elected people's majlis. The ensuing decades have been characterized by political instability, efforts at democratic reform, and environmental challenges posed by climate change. The Maldives is a founding member of the South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation. It is also a member of the United Nations, the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, and the Non Aligned Movement. The World Bank classifies the Maldives as having an upper middle income economy. Fishing has historically been the dominant economic activity, and remains the largest sector by far, followed by the rapidly growing tourism industry. Along with Sri Lanka, it is one of only two South Asian countries rated high on the Human Development Index, with its per capita income one of the highest among SAARC nations. The Maldives was a Commonwealth Republic from July 1982 until its withdrawal from the Commonwealth in October 2016 in protest of international criticism of its records in relation to corruption and human rights. Topic. Toponymy Topic. The name Maldives may derive from the Tamil words Malai (garland, evening) and Thivu (island) or Maala Devana (necklace islands) in Sinhala. The Maldivian people are called Divahan. The word Thivu (archaic Hivu, related to Tamil Thivu, Divu means island, and Dives (divahan) means islanders, i.e. Maldivians. The ancient Sri Lankan chronicle Mahawamsa refers to an island called Mahiladeva (island of women). Mahiladiba in Pali, which is probably a mistranslation of the same Sanskrit word meaning garland. Jan S. Hagendorn, Grossman Professor of Economics, theorizes that the name Maldives derives from the Sanskrit Maladvipa, Maladvipa meaning garland of islands. In Tamil, garland of islands can be translated as Malai Thivu. In Malayalam, garland of islands can be translated as Maladvipu. In Kannada, Garland of Islands can be translated as Maaledwipa. None of these names is mentioned in any literature, but classical Sanskrit texts dating back to the Vedic period mention the Hundred Thousand Islands, Lakshadwipa, a generic name which would include not only the Maldives, but also the Lakadives, Amanadivi Islands, Minakoi, and the Chagos Island groups. Some medieval travelers, such as Ibn Battuta, called the islands Mahal Dibiyya from the Arabic word Mahal. Palace which must be how the Berber traveller interpreted the local name, having been through Muslim North India, where Perso-Arabic words were introduced to the local vocabulary. This is the name currently inscribed on the scroll in the Maldives state emblem. 
The classical Persian, Arabic name for Maldives is Dibajit. The Dutch referred to the islands as the Maldivish Islanden pronounced Maldives ild n, while the British anglicised the local name for the islands first to the Maldive Islands, and later to Maldives. Garcia da Orta writes in his conversational book first published in 1563 as follows. I must tell you that I have heard it said that the natives do not call it Maldiva but Nailadiva. In the Malabar language Nail means four and Diva island. So that in that language the word signifies four islands. While we, corrupting the name, call it Maldiva. History Topic. Ancient history and settlement Topic. The first Maldivians did not leave any archaeological artifacts. Their buildings were probably built of wood, palm fronds and other perishable materials, which would have quickly decayed in the salt and wind of the tropical climate. Moreover, chiefs or headmen did not reside in elaborate stone palaces, nor did their religion require the construction of large temples or compounds. Comparative studies of Maldivian oral, linguistic and cultural traditions and customs confirm that the first settlers were people from the southern shores of the neighboring Indian subcontinent, including the Jaravaru people mentioned in ancient legends and local folklore about the establishment of the capital and kingly rule in Malay. A strong underlying layer of Dravidian population and culture survives in Maldivian society, with a clear Tamil Malayalam substratum in the language, which also appears in place names, kinship terms, poetry, dance, and religious beliefs. Malabari seafaring culture led to the settlement of the islands by Malayali seafarers. The earliest written history of the Maldives was marked by the arrival of Sinhalese people in Sri Lanka and the Maldives circa 543 to 483 BC, as reported in the Mahavansa. Their settlement marks a significant change in demographics and the development of the Indo-Aryan language Divehi language. Buddhist period. Topic. Despite being just mentioned briefly in most history books, the 1,400-year-long Buddhist period has a foundational importance in the history of the Maldives. It was during this period that the culture of the Maldives both developed and flourished, a culture which survives today. The Maldivian language, the first Maldive scripts, the architecture, the ruling institutions, the customs and manners of the Maldivians originated at the time when the Maldives were a Buddhist kingdom. Buddhism probably spread to the Maldives in the 3rd century BC at the time of Emperor Ashoka's expansion, and became the dominant religion of the people of the Maldives until the 12th century AD. The ancient Maldivian kings promoted Buddhism, and the first Maldive writings and artistic achievements, in the form of highly developed sculpture and architecture, are from that period. Nearly all archaeological remains in the Maldives are from Buddhist stupas and monasteries, and all artifacts found to date display characteristic Buddhist iconography. Buddhist and Hindu temples were mandala-shaped, they are oriented according to the four cardinal points, the main gate being towards the east. Local historian Hassan Ahmed Maniku counted as many as 59 islands with Buddhist archaeological sites in a provisional list he published in 1990. Topic: <laughs> Islamic period. Topic: the importance of the Arabs as traders in the Indian Ocean by the 12th century may partly explain why the last Buddhist king of Maldives Dovmi converted to Islam in the year 1153 or 1193, adopting the Muslim title of Sultan Muhammad al-Adil, and initiating a series of six Islamic dynasties that lasted until 1932 when the Sultanate became elective. The formal title of the Sultan up to 1965 was, Sultan of Land and Sea, Lord of the Twelve Thousand Islands and Sultan of the Maldives which came with the style Highness. The person traditionally deemed responsible for this conversion in 1153, was a Maghreb Muslim visitor named Abu El Barakat al Barbari, according to the story told to Ibn Battuta, who goes on to say a mosque was built with the inscription. The Sultan Ahmad Shanaraza accepted Islam at the hand of Abu. El Barakat al Barbari al Maghribi. Some scholars have suggested the possibility of Ibn Battuta misreading Maldive texts, and having a bias towards the North African, Maghrebi narrative of this sheikh, instead of the East African origins account that was known as well at the time. 
Even when Ibn Battuta visited the islands the governor of the island at that time was Abd Aziz al Magadishawi. A Somali scholars have posited another scenario where this Abu Barakat might have been a native of Barbera, a significant trading port on the northwestern coast of Somalia. Barbara or Barbaroi Berbers, as the ancestors of the Somalis were referred to by medieval Arab and ancient Greek geographers, respectively. This is also seen when Ibn Battuta visited Mogadishu, he mentions that the Sultan at that time, Abu Bakr ibn Sheikh Omar, was a Berber Somali. According to scholars, Abu Barakat al-Barbari was Yusuf bin Ahmad al kanain a famous native Somali scholar known for establishing the Walashma dynasty of the Horn of Africa, after his conversion of the population of Dagar now known as a, a town in Somalia. He is also credited to have been responsible for spreading Islam in the Maldivian Islands, establishing the Hukuru Miski Mosque, and converting the Maldivian population to Islam. Ibn Battuta states the Maldivian king was converted by Abu al-Barakat al-Berber blessed father of Somalia. Others have it he may have been from the Persian town of Tabriz. The first reference to an Iranian origin dates to an 18th century Persian text. His venerated tomb now stands on the grounds of Hukuru Mosque, or Miski, in the capital of Malay. Built in 1656, this is the oldest mosque in Maldives. Following the Islamic concept that before Islam there was the time of Jahiliya ignorance, in the history books used by Maldivians the introduction of Islam at the end of the 12th century is considered the cornerstone of the country's history. Compared to the other areas of South Asia, the conversion of the Maldives to Islam happened relatively late. Arab traders had converted populations in the Malabar coast since the 7th century, and Muhammad bin Qasim had converted large swathes of Sindh to Islam at about the same time. The Maldives remained a Buddhist kingdom for another 500 years after the conversion of Malabar Coast and Sindh, perhaps as the southwesternmost Buddhist country. Arabic became the prime language of administration instead of Persian and Urdu, and the Maliki school of jurisprudence was introduced, both hinting at direct contacts with the core of the Arab world. Middle Eastern seafarers had just begun to take over the Indian Ocean trade routes in the 10th century and found Maldives to be an important link in those routes as the first landfall for traders from Basra sailing to Southeast Asia. Trade involved mainly cowrie shells—widely used as a form of currency throughout Asia and parts of the East African coast—and coir fiber. The Bengal Sultanate, where cowrie shells were used as legal tender, was one of the principal trading partners of the Maldives. The Bengal Maldives cowrie shell trade was the largest shell currency trade network in history. The other essential product of the Maldives was coir, the fiber of the dried coconut husk, resistant to saltwater. It stitched together and rigged the dhows that plied the Indian Ocean. Maldivian coir was exported to Sindh, China, Yemen, and the Persian Gulf. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Colonial Period. Topic. In 1558 the Portuguese established a small garrison with a viador viazoru, or overseer of a factory trading post in the Maldives, which they administered from their main colony in Goa. Their attempts to impose Christianity provoked a local revolt led by Muhammad Thakurufa'anu al-Azam and his two brothers, that 15 years later drove the Portuguese out of Maldives. This event is now commemorated as National Day. In the mid-17th century, the Dutch, who had replaced the Portuguese as the dominant power in Ceylon, established hegemony over Maldivian affairs without involving themselves directly in local matters, which were governed according to centuries-old Islamic customs. The British expelled the Dutch from Ceylon in 1796 and included Maldives as a British protected area. The status of Maldives as a British protectorate was officially recorded in an 1887 agreement in which the Sultan accepted British influence over Maldivian external relations and defence while retaining home rule, which continued to be regulated by Muslim traditional institutions in exchange for an annual tribute. The status of the islands was akin to other British protectorates in the Indian Ocean region, including Zanzibar and the Trucial states. In the British period the Sultan's powers were taken over by the chief minister, much to the chagrin of the British Governor-General who continued to deal with the ineffectual Sultan. Consequently, Britain encouraged the development of a constitutional monarchy, and the first constitution was proclaimed in 1932. However, the new arrangements favoured neither the ageing Sultan nor the wily chief minister, but rather a young crop of British-educated reformists. 
As a result, angry mobs were instigated against the constitution which was publicly torn up. Maldives remained a British Crown Protectorate until 1953 when the Sultanate was suspended and the First Republic was declared under the short-lived presidency of Muhammad Amin Didi. While serving as Prime Minister during the 1940s, Didi nationalised the fish export industry. As President he is remembered as a reformer of the education system and a promoter of women's rights. Conservatives in Malay eventually ousted his government, and during a riot over food shortages, Didi was beaten by a mob and died on a nearby island. Beginning in the 1950s, the political history in Maldives was largely influenced by the British military presence in the islands. In 1954 the restoration of the Sultanate perpetuated the rule of the past. Two years later, the United Kingdom obtained permission to re-establish its wartime RAF Gun airfield in the southernmost Adu Atoll, employing hundreds of locals. In 1957, however, the new Prime Minister, Ibrahim Nasir, called for a review of the agreement. Nasir was challenged in 1959 by a local secessionist movement in the three southernmost atolls that benefited economically from the British presence on Gaon. This group cut ties with the Maldives government and formed an independent state, the United Suvadive Republic with Abdullah Afif as president and Hithidhu as capital. One year later the Suvadive Republic was scrapped after Nasir sent gunboats from Malay with government police, and Abdullah Afif went into exile. Meanwhile, in 1960 the Maldives had allowed the United Kingdom to continue to use both the Gan and the Hitadu facilities for a 30-year period, with the payment of £750,000 over the period of 1960–1965 for the purpose of Maldives' economic development. The base was closed in 1976 as part of the larger British withdrawal of permanently stationed forces. East of Suez Independence and Republic Topic. In line with the broader British policy of decolonization on 26 July 1965 an agreement was signed on behalf of His Majesty the Sultan by Ibrahim Nasir Ranabandari College Fan, Prime Minister, and on behalf of Her Majesty the Queen by Sir Michael Walker, British Ambassador designate to the Maldive Islands, which ended the British responsibility for the defence and external affairs of the Maldives. The islands thus achieved full political independence, with the ceremony taking place at the British High Commissioner's residence in Colombo. After this, the Sultanate continued for another three years under Muhammad Farid Didi, who declared himself king rather than sultan. On 15 November 1967, a vote was taken in Parliament to decide whether the Maldives should continue as a constitutional monarchy or become a republic. Of the 44 members of Parliament, 40 voted in favour of a republic. On 15 March 1968, a national referendum was held on the question, and 93.34% of those taking part voted in favor of establishing a republic. The republic was declared on of November 1968, thus ending the 853-year-old monarchy, which was replaced by a republic under the presidency of Ibrahim Nasir. As the king had held little real power, this was seen as a cosmetic change and required few alterations in the structures of government. Tourism began to be developed on the archipelago by the beginning of the 1970s. The first resort in the Maldives was Kurumba Maldives which welcomed the first guests on 3 October 1972. The first accurate census was held in December 1977 and showed 142,832 persons residing in Maldives. Political infighting during the 70s between Nasir S faction and other political figures led to the 1975 arrest and exile of elected Prime Minister Ahmed Zaki to a remote atoll. Economic decline followed the closure of the British airfield at Gaon and the collapse of the market for dried fish, an important export. With support for his administration faltering, Nasir fled to Singapore in 1978, with millions of dollars from the Treasury. Mamoun Abdul Gayoum began his 30-year role as president in 1978, winning six consecutive elections without opposition. His election was seen as ushering in a period of political stability and economic development in view of Gayoum's priority to develop the poorer islands. Tourism flourished and increased foreign contact spurred development. However, Gayoum 
S. rule was controversial, with some critics saying Gayum was an autocrat who quelled dissent by limiting freedoms and political favoritism. A series of coup attempts in 1980, 1983, and 1988 by Nasir supporters and business interests tried to topple the government without success. While the first two attempts met with little success, the 1988 coup attempt involved a roughly 80 person mercenary force of the plot who seized the airport and caused Gayum to flee from house to house until the intervention of 1600 Indian troops airlifted into Malay restored order. A November 1988 coup was headed by Muhammadu Ibrahim Lutfi, a small businessman. On the night of 3 November 1988, the Indian Air Force airlifted a parachute battalion group from Agra and flew them over 2,000 kilometres to the Maldives. The Indian paratroopers landed at Halul and secured the airfield and restored the government rule at Malay within hours. The brief operation, labelled Operation Cactus, also involved the Indian Navy. 21st century. Topic. On 26 December 2004, following the 2004 Indian Ocean earthquake, the Maldives were devastated by a tsunami. Only nine islands were reported to have escaped any flooding, while 57 islands faced serious damage to critical infrastructure, 14 islands had to be totally evacuated, and six islands were destroyed. A further 21 resort islands were forced to close because of tsunami damage. The total damage was estimated at more than $400 million, or some 62% of the GDP. 102 Maldivians and six foreigners reportedly died in the tsunami. The destructive impact of the waves on the low lying islands was mitigated by the fact there was no continental shelf or land mass upon which the waves could gain height. The tallest waves were reported to be 14 feet meters high. During the later part of Gayum, rule, independent political movements emerged in Maldives, which challenged the then ruling Divehi Rayathunj Party Maldivian People's Party, MPP and demanded democratic reform. The dissident journalist and activist Muhammad Nasheed founded the Maldivian Democratic Party MDP in 2003 and pressured Gayum into allowing gradual political reforms. In 2008 a new constitution was approved and the first direct presidential elections occurred, which were won by Mohamed Nasheed in the second round. His administration faced many challenges, including the huge debt left by the previous government, the economic downturn following the 2004 tsunami, overspending by means of overprinting of local currency rufiyah, unemployment, corruption, and increasing drug use. Taxation on goods was imposed for the first time in the country, and import duties were reduced in many goods and services. Social welfare benefits were given to those aged 65 years or older, single parents, and those with special needs. Social and political unrest grew in late 2011, following opposition campaigns in the name of protecting Islam. Nasheed controversially resigned from office after a large number of police and army mutinied in February 2012. Nasheed's vice president, Muhammad Wahid Hassan, was sworn in as president. Nasheed was later arrested, convicted of terrorism, and sentenced to 13 years. The trial was widely seen as flawed and political. The UN Working Group on Arbitrary Detention called for Nasheed's immediate release. The elections in late 2013 were highly contested. Former President Mohamed Nasheed won the most votes in the first round, but the Supreme Court annulled it despite the positive assessment of international election observers. In the re-run vote Abdullah Yameen, half-brother of the former President Gayoum, assumed the presidency. Yameen introduced increased engagement with China, and promoted a policy of connecting Islam with anti-Western rhetoric. Yameen survived an assassination attempt in late 2015. Vice President Ahmed Adib was later arrested together with 17 supporters for public order offences and the government instituted a broader crackdown against political dissent. A state of emergency was later declared ahead of a planned anti-government rally, and the people S. Majlis accelerated the removal of Vice President Ahmed Adib. On 3 February 2018, Parliament dissolved and the military occupied the capital. On 5 February, the Supreme Court of Maldives released three imprisoned opposition leaders, including former President Mohamed Nasheed. The court also provided relief to 12 ministers who had been removed from President Abdullah Yameen's ruling party. 
Yamin refused to comply with the court order and imposed a state of emergency to last for 15 days. Protesters demonstrated on the streets against President Abdullah Yamin after the announcement of the emergency. Geography <inaudible> 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 The Maldives consists of 1,192 coral islands grouped in a double chain of 26 atolls, along the north-south direction, spread over roughly 90,000 square kilometres 35,000 square miles, making this one of the world's most dispersed countries. It lies between latitudes 1 degree south and 8 degrees north, and longitudes 72 degrees and 74 degrees east. The atolls are composed of live coral reefs and sandbars, situated atop a submarine ridge 960 kilometers (600 miles) long that rises abruptly from the depths of the Indian Ocean and runs north to south. Only near the southern end of this natural coral barricade do two open passages permit safe ship navigation from one side of the Indian Ocean to the other through the territorial waters of Maldives. For administrative purposes, the Maldivian government organized these atolls into 21 administrative divisions. The largest island of Maldives is Gon, which belongs to Lamu Atoll or Hadumathi Maldives. In Adu Atoll, the westernmost islands are connected by roads over the reef collectively called Link Road and the total length of the road is 14 km 9 miles. Maldives is the lowest country in the world, with maximum and average natural ground levels of only 2.4 meters (7 feet 10 in) and 1.5 meters (4 feet 11 in) above sea level, respectively. In areas where construction exists, however, this has been increased to several meters. More than 80% of the country's land is composed of coral islands, which rise less than one meter above sea level. As a result, the Maldives are at high risk of being submerged due to rising sea levels. The UN's Environmental Panel has warned that, at current rates, sea level rise would be high enough to make the Maldives uninhabitable by 2100. Protected areas of Maldives Protected areas of the Maldives are administered by the Ministry of Environment and Energy and Environmental Protection Agency EPA of the Maldives. There are 31 protected areas in Maldives. Topic: <laughs> Climate. Topic: The Maldives has a tropical monsoon climate AM under the Köppen climate classification, which is affected by the large landmass of South Asia to the north. Because the Maldives has the lowest elevation of any country in the world, the temperature is constantly hot and oftentimes humid. The presence of this landmass causes differential heating of land and water. These factors set off a rush of moisture-rich air from the Indian Ocean over South Asia, resulting in the southwest monsoon. Two seasons dominate Maldives' weather, the dry season associated with the winter northeastern monsoon and the rainy season which brings strong winds and storms. The shift from the dry northeast monsoon to the moist southwest monsoon occurs during April and May. During this period, the southwest winds contribute to the formation of the southwest monsoon, which reaches Maldives in the beginning of June and lasts until the end of August. However, the weather patterns of Maldives do not always conform to the monsoon patterns of South Asia. The annual rainfall averages 254 cm 100 in, in the north and 381 cm 150 in, in the south. The monsoonal influence is greater in the north of the Maldives than in the south, more influenced by the equatorial currents. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Environmental issues. Topic: <inaudible> The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change S2007 report predicted the upper limit of the sea level rises will be 59 centimeters 23 in by 2100 which means that most of the republic S200 inhabited islands may need to be abandoned one study appears to show that the sea level in the Maldives dropped 20 to 30 centimeters 8 to 12 in throughout the 1970s and 80s although later studies failed to back this up the observed rate of sea level rise is only 1.7 to 1.8 mm per year. According to former Maldivian President Mohamed Nasheed, the Maldives are ranked the third most endangered nation due to flooding from climate change. In March and April 2012, Nasheed stated, 
If carbon emissions were to stop today, the planet would not see a difference for 60 to 70 years. If carbon emissions continue at the rate they are climbing today, my country will be underwater in seven years." He called for more climate change mitigation action while on the American television shows The Daily Show and The Late Show with David Letterman. This opinion was disputed in 2012, when the next president said, The good news is that Maldives is not about to disappear less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 on the basis of technical and scientific information that we have that we will be able to manage climate change in the Maldives and prolong the life for the islands and for our life on these islands in November 2008 president Mohammad Nasheed announced plans to look into purchasing new land in India Sri Lanka and Australia because of his concerns about global warming and the possibility of much of the islands being inundated with water from rising sea levels the purchase of land will be made from a fund generated by tourism the president has explained his intentions we do not want to leave the Maldives, but we also do not want to be climate refugees living in tents for decades. On the 22nd of April 2008, then President Mamoun Abdul Gayoum pleaded for a cut in global greenhouse gas emissions, warning that rising sea levels could submerge the island nation of Maldives. By 2020, Maldives plans to eliminate or offset all of its greenhouse gas emissions. At the 2009 International Climate Talks, President Mohamed Nasheed explained that, for us swearing off fossil fuels is not only the right thing to do, it is in our economic self-interest. Pioneering countries will free themselves from the unpredictable price of foreign oil, they will capitalize on the new green economy of the future, and they will enhance their moral standing giving them greater political influence on the world stage. Other environmental issues include bad waste disposal and beach theft. Although the Maldives are kept relatively pristine and little litter can be found on the islands, no good waste disposal sites exist. Most trash from mail and other resorts is simply dumped at Thilafushi. <laughs> Marine ecosystem the Maldives have a range of different habitats including deep sea, shallow coast, and reef ecosystems, fringing mangroves, wetlands and dry land. There are 187 species of coral forming the coral reefs. This area of the Indian Ocean, alone, houses 1100 species of fish, 5 species of sea turtle, 21 species of whale and dolphin, 400 species of mollusk, and 83 species of echinoderms. The area is also populated by a number of crustacean species, 120 copod, 15 amphipod, as well as more than 145 crab and 48 shrimp species. Among the many marine families represented are pufferfish, fusiliers, jackfish, lionfish, oriental sweetlips, reef sharks, groupers, eels, snappers, bannerfish, batfish, humphead wrasse, spotted eagle rays, scorpionfish, lobsters, nudibranches, angelfish, butterflyfish, squirrelfish, soldierfish, glassfish, surgeonfish, unicornfish, triggerfish, napoleon wrasses, and barracudas. These coral reefs are home to a variety of marine ecosystems that vary from planktonic organisms to whale sharks. Sponges have gained importance as five species have displayed anti-tumor and anti-cancer properties. In 1998, sea temperature warming of as much as 5 degrees Celsius (9.0 degrees Fahrenheit) due to a single El Niño phenomenon event caused coral bleaching, killing two-thirds of the nation's coral reefs. In an effort to induce the regrowth of the reefs, scientists placed electrified cones anywhere from 20 to 60 feet (6.1 to 18.3 meters) below the surface to provide a substrate for larval coral attachment. In 2004, scientists witnessed corals regenerating. Corals began to eject pink-orange eggs and sperm. The growth of these electrified corals was five times faster than untreated corals. Scientist Aziz Hakim stated, before 1998, we never thought that this reef would die. We had always taken for granted that these animals would be there, that this reef would be there forever. El Niño gave us a wake-up call that these things are not going to be there forever. Not only this, they also act as a natural barrier against the tropical storms, floods and tsunamis. Seaweeds grow on the skeletons of dead coral. Again, in 2016, the coral reefs of the Maldives experienced a severe bleaching incident. Up to 95% of coral around some islands have died, and, even after six months, 100% of young coral transplants died. 
The surface water temperatures reached an all time high in 2016, at 31 degrees Celsius in May. Recent scientific studies suggest that the faunistic composition can vary greatly between neighbor atolls, especially in terms of benthic fauna. Differences in terms of fishing pressure including poaching could be the cause. Government Maldives is a presidential republic, with extensive influence of the president as head of government and head of state. The president heads the executive branch, acts at the same time as minister of defense and appoints the cabinet which is approved by the people's majlis parliament. He leads police, army, coast guards, fire brigade and judiciary. There is no separation of powers. The current president is Ibrahim Mohamed Sola. Members of the unicameral majlis serve five-year terms, with the total number of members determined by atoll populations. At the 2009 election, 77 members were elected. The people. S. Majlis, located in Mail, houses members from all over the country. The Republican Constitution came into force in 1968, and was amended in 1970, 1972, and 1975. On 27 November 1997, it was replaced by another constitution assented to by the President Gayoum. This constitution came into force on 1 January 1998. All stated that the president was the head of state, head of government and the commander-in-chief of the armed forces and the police of the Maldives. In 2018, tensions with opposition and subsequent crackdown was termed as an assault on democracy by the UN human rights chief. Topic. Law Topic. According to the Constitution of Maldives, the judges are independent, and subject only to the constitution and the law. When deciding matters on which the constitution or the law is silent, judges must consider Islamic Sharia." Article 15 of the Act No. 181 Penal Code gives provision for hudud punishments. Article 156 of the Constitution states that law includes the norms and provisions of Sharia. Islam is the official religion of the Maldives, and open practice of any other religion is forbidden and liable to prosecution. Article 2 of the revised Constitution says that the Republic is based on the principles of Islam. Article 9 says that a non Muslim may not become a citizen. Article 10 says that no law contrary to any principle of Islam can be applied." Article 19 states that, "...citizens are free to participate in or carry out any activity that is not expressly prohibited by Sharia Islamic law or by the law." The requirement to adhere to a particular religion and prohibition of public worship following other religions is contrary to Article 18 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights and Article 18 of the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights to which Maldives has recently become party and was addressed in Maldives' reservation in adhering to the covenant claiming that the application of the principles set out in Article 18 of the covenant shall be without prejudice to the Constitution of the Republic of the Maldives. Topic. Human rights Topic. Human rights in the Maldives is a contentious issue. In its 2011 Freedom in the World report, Freedom House declared the Maldives, "...partly free," claiming a reform process which had made headway in 2009 and 2010 had stalled. The United States Bureau of Democracy, Human Rights and Labor claims in their 2012 report on human rights practices in the country that the most significant problems are corruption, lack of religious freedom, and abuse and unequal treatment of women. In February 2013, the court sentenced a 15-year-old rape victim to 100 lashes and eight months of house arrest for having had extramarital relations. The conviction was based on the confession of the girl shortly after being raped by her stepfather same-sex relations are illegal in the Maldives. Topic. Foreign relations Topic. Since 1996, the Maldives has been the official progress monitor of the Indian Ocean Commission. In 2002, the Maldives began to express interest in the commission but as of 2008 had not applied for membership. 
Maldives' interest relates to its identity as a small island state, especially economic development and environmental preservation, and its desire for closer relations with France, a main actor in the IOC region. The Maldives is a founding member of the South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation The Republic joined the Commonwealth in 1982, some 17 years after gaining independence from the United Kingdom. In October 2016, Maldives announced its withdrawal from the Commonwealth in protest at allegations of human rights abuse and failing democracy. The Maldives enjoys close ties with Commonwealth members Seychelles and Mauritius. The Maldives and Comoros are also both members of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation. Military <inaudible> 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 The Maldives National Defence Force is the combined security organisation responsible for defending the security and sovereignty of the Maldives, having the primary task of being responsible for attending to all internal and external security needs of the Maldives, including the protection of the Exclusive Economic Zone and the maintenance of peace and security. The MNDF component branches are the Coast Guard, Marine Corps, Special Forces, Service Corps and the Corps of Engineers. As a water-bound nation much of the security concerns lie at sea. Almost 99% of the country is covered by sea and the remaining 1% land is scattered over an area of 800 km 497 miles times 120 km 75 miles, with the largest island being not more than 8 square kilometers 3 square miles. Therefore, the duties assigned to the MNDF of maintaining surveillance over Maldives' waters and providing protection against foreign intruders poaching in the EEZ and territorial waters, are immense tasks from both logistical and economic viewpoints. The Coast Guard plays a vital role in carrying out these functions. To provide timely security its patrol boats are stationed at various MNDF regional headquarters. The Coast Guard is also assigned to respond to the maritime distress calls and to conduct search and rescue operations in a timely manner. Maritime pollution control exercises are conducted regularly on an annual basis for familiarization and handling of such hazardous situations. <laughs> <laughs> Administrative divisions the Maldives has 26 natural atolls and few island groups on isolated reefs, all of which have been divided into 21 administrative divisions 19 administrative atolls and cities of Malay and Adieu. Each atoll is administered by an elected atoll council. The islands are administered by an elected island council. Between 2008 and 2010 the Maldives had seven provinces each consisting of the following administrative divisions the capital Malay is its own administrative division. Mathi Utheru Province, consists of Ha Alif Atoll, Ha Da'alu Atoll and Shaviani Atoll. Utheru Province, consists of Nuna Atoll, Raa Atoll, Ba Atoll and Laviani Atoll. Medhu Utheru Province, consists of Kafu Atoll, Alifu Alifu Atoll, Alifu Da'alu Atoll and Vaavu Atoll. Medhu Province, consists of Mimu Atoll, Faafu Atoll and Da'alu Atoll. Medhu Dikunu Province, consists of Thaa Atoll and Lamu Atoll. Mathi Dikunu Province, consists of Gafu Alifu Atoll and Gafu Da'alu Atoll. Dikunu Province, consists of Naviani Atoll and Adyu City. In addition to a name, every administrative division is identified by the Maldivian code letters, such as Ha Alif for Thiladhunmati Utherabori, Thiladhunmati North, and by a Latin code letter. The first corresponds to the geographical Maldivian name of the atoll, the second is a code adopted for convenience. As there are certain islands in different atolls that have the same name, for administrative purposes this code is quoted before the name of the island, for example, Ba Funadhu, Kafu Funadhu, Gafu Alifu Funadhu. Since most atolls have very long geographical names it is also used whenever the long name is inconvenient, for example in the atoll website names, the introduction of code letter names has been a source of much puzzlement and misunderstandings, especially among foreigners. Many people have come to think that the code letter of the administrative atoll is its new name and that it has replaced its geographical name. Under such circumstances it is hard to know which is the correct name to use. Economy 
In ancient times the Maldives were renowned for cowrie shells, coir rope, dried tuna fish, Maldive fish ambergris mavaharu, and coco de mer tavakashi. Local and foreign trading ships used to load these products in Sri Lanka and transport them to other harbours in the Indian Ocean. Historically Maldives provided enormous quantities of cowrie shells, an international currency of the early ages. From the 2nd century AD the islands were known as the ''Money Isles'' by the Arabs. Monetaria moneta were used for centuries as a currency in Africa, and huge amounts of Maldivian cowries were introduced into Africa by Western nations during the period of slave trade. The cowrie is now the symbol of the Maldives' monetary authority. The Maldivian government began an economic reform program in 1989, initially by lifting import quotas and opening some exports to the private sector. Subsequently, it has liberalized regulations to allow more foreign investment. Real GDP growth averaged over 7.5% per year for more than a decade. Today, the Maldives' largest industry is tourism, accounting for 28% of GDP and more than 60% of the Maldives' foreign exchange receipts. Fishing is the second leading sector. The Maldivian economy is to a large degree based on tourism. In late December 2004, the major tsunami left more than 100 dead, 12,000 displaced, and property damage exceeding $400 million. As a result of the tsunami, the GDP contracted by about 3.6% in 2005. A rebound in tourism, post-tsunami reconstruction, and development of new resorts helped the economy recover quickly and showed an 18% increase on 2006. 2013 estimates show Maldivians enjoy the highest GDP PPP per capita $11,900 among South Asian countries. Agriculture and manufacturing continue to play a lesser role in the economy, constrained by the limited availability of cultivable land and the shortage of domestic labor. Tourism gave a major boost to the country's fledgling traditional cottage industries such as mat weaving, lacquer work, handicraft, and coir rope making. New industries that have since emerged include printing, production of PVC pipes, brick making, marine engine repairs, bottling of aerated water, and garment production. Tourism The Maldives remained largely unknown to tourists until the early 1970s. Only 185 islands are home to its 300,000 inhabitants. The other islands are used entirely for economic purposes, of which tourism and agriculture are the most dominant. Tourism accounts for 28% of the GDP and more than 60% of the Maldives' foreign exchange receipts. Over 90% of government tax revenue comes from import duties and tourism-related taxes. The development of tourism fostered the overall growth of the country's economy. It created direct and indirect employment and income generation opportunities in other related industries. The first tourist resorts were opened in 1972 with Bandos Island Resort and Kurumba Village the current name is Kurumba Maldives, which transformed the Maldives economy. According to the Ministry of Tourism, the emergence of tourism in 1972 transformed the economy, moving rapidly from dependence on fisheries to tourism. In just three and a half decades, the industry became the main source of income. Tourism was also the country's biggest foreign currency earner and the single largest contributor to the GDP. As of 2008, 89 resorts in the Maldives offered over 17,000 beds and hosted over 600,000 tourists annually. The number of resorts increased from 2 to 92 between 1972 and 2007. As of 2007, over 8,380,000 tourists had visited Maldives. Visitors to the Maldives do not need to apply for a visa pre arrival, regardless of their country of origin, provided they have a valid passport, proof of onward travel, and the money to be self sufficient while in the country. Most visitors arrive at Malay International Airport, on Hululi Island, adjacent to the capital Malay. The airport is served by flights to and from India, Sri Lanka, Doha, Dubai, Singapore, Istanbul, and major airports in Southeast Asia, as well as charters from Europe. Gan Airport, on the southern atoll of Adyu, also serves an international flight to Milan several times a week. British Airways offers direct flights to the Maldives around two to three times per week. The country currently has six heritage Maldivian coral mosques, all of which are listed as UNESCO tentative sites. 
Topic: Fishing industry. Topic: For many centuries the Maldivian economy was entirely dependent on fishing and other marine products. Fishing remains the main occupation of the people and the government gives priority to the fisheries sector. The mechanization of the traditional fishing boat called Doni in 1974 was a major milestone in the development of the fisheries industry. A fish canning plant was installed on Felivaru in 1977, as a joint venture with a Japanese firm. In 1979, a fisheries advisory board was set up with the mandate of advising the government on policy guidelines for the overall development of the fisheries sector. Manpower development programs began in the early 1980s, and fisheries education was incorporated into the school curriculum. Fish aggregating devices and navigational aids were located at various strategic points. Moreover, the opening up of the Exclusive Economic Zone EEZ of the Maldives for fisheries has further enhanced the growth of the fisheries sector. As of 2010, fisheries contributed over 15% of the country's GDP and engaged about 30% of the country's workforce. Fisheries were also the second largest foreign exchange earner after tourism. Topic. Demographics. Topic. The largest ethnic group are Divhis, i.e. the Maldivians, native to the historic region of the Maldive Islands comprising today's Republic of Maldives and the island of Minicoy in Union Territory of Lakshadweep, India. They share the same culture and speak the Divahi language. They are principally an Indo-Aryan people, closely related to the Sinhalese and having traces of Middle Eastern, South Asian, Austronesian and African genes in the population. In the past there was also a small Tamil population known as the Jaravaru people. This group have now been almost completely absorbed into the larger Maldivian society but were once native to the island of Jaravaru Kafu Atoll. This island was evacuated in 1968 due to heavy erosion of the island. Some social stratification exists on the islands. It is not rigid, since rank is based on varied factors, including occupation, wealth, Islamic virtue, and family ties. Instead of a complex caste system, there was merely a distinction between noble Bifulu and common people in the Maldives. Members of the social elite are concentrated in Malay. The population doubled by 1978, and the population growth rate peaked at 3.4% in 1985. At the 2006 census, the population had reached 298,968, although the census in 2000 showed that the population growth rate had declined to 1.9%. Life expectancy at birth stood at 46 years in 1978, and later rose to 72. Infant mortality has declined from 12.7% in 1977 to 1.2% today, and adult literacy reached 99%. Combined school enrollment reached the high 90s. The population was projected to have reached 317,280 in 2010. As of April 2008, more than 70,000 foreign employees, along with 33,000 illegal immigrants, comprised more than one third of the Maldivian population. There are 40,000 Bangladeshis in the Maldives, making them the largest group of foreigners working in that country. Other immigrants include Filipinos in the Maldives as well as various Western expatriates. Religion After the long Buddhist period of Maldivian history, Muslim traders introduced Islam. Maldivians converted to Islam by the mid-12th century. The islands have had a long history of suffrage orders, as can be seen in the history of the country such as the building of tombs. They were used until as recently as the 1980s for seeking the help of buried saints. They can be seen next to some old mosques and are considered a part of Maldives' cultural heritage. Other aspects of Tasawuf, such as ritualized dhikr ceremonies called Mauludu Maulid, the liturgy of which included recitations and certain supplications in a melodical tone, existed until very recent times. These Mauludu festivals were held in ornate tents specially built for the occasion. At present Islam is the official religion of the entire population, as adherence to it is required for citizenship. According to Moroccan traveler Ibn Battuta, the person responsible for this conversion was a Sunni Muslim visitor named Abu al-Barakat, sailing from Morocco. He is also referred to as Tabrizujfanu. 
His venerated tomb now stands on the grounds of the Friday Mosque, or Hukuru Miski, in Malay. Built in 1656, this is the country's oldest mosque. Languages <inaudible> 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 The official and common language is Divehi, an Indo-Aryan language having some similarities with Elu, the ancient Sinhalese language. The first known script used to write Divehi is Ivela Akuru script which is found in historical recording of kings Radavala. Later a script called Dives Akuru was used for a long period. The present-day script is called Thana and is written from right to left. Thana is said to have been introduced by the reign of Muhammad Thakurufa'anu. English is widely spoken by the locals of Maldives. Topic: Population by locality. Topic: Topic: Culture. Topic: Since the 12th century AD, there were also influences from Arabia in the language and culture of the Maldives because of the conversion to Islam and its location as a crossroads in the central Indian Ocean. This was due to the long trading history between the Far East and the Middle East. However, unlike the Sinhalese of Sri Lanka and most of the Arabs, Africans and Europeans whose influence can be seen in loanwords, material culture, and the diversity of Maldivian phenotype, Maldivians do not have the highly embedded patriarchal codes of honor, purity, corporate marriage, and sedentary private property that are typical of places where agriculture is the key form of subsistence and social relations have been built. Historically, around tribute taking, reflective of this is the fact that the Maldives has had the highest national divorce rate in the world for many decades. This, it is hypothesized, is due to a combination of liberal Islamic rules about divorce and the relatively loose marital bonds that have been identified as common in non- and semi-sedentary peoples without a history of fully developed agrarian property and kinship relations. Transportation <inaudible> 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 Valena International Airport is the principal gateway to the Maldives. International travel is available on a number of major airlines. Two Maldives-based airlines also operate international flights. Privately owned Mega Maldives Airlines has Boeing 737 and 767 aircraft and operates frequent services to Beijing, Shanghai, and Hong Kong. Government-owned Island Aviation Services branded as Maldivian operates to nearly all Maldives domestic airports with several Bombardier-8 aircraft and one A320 with international service to Chennai and Tiruvanantapuram, India, and Dhaka, Bangladesh. In Maldives there are three main ways to travel between islands, by domestic flight, by seaplane or by boat. For several years there were two seaplane companies operating, TMA Trans Maldivian Airways and Maldivian Air Taxi, but these merged in 2013 under the name TMA. The seaplane fleet is entirely made up of DHC-6 Twin Otters. There is also another airline, Flyme, which operates using ATR planes to domestic airports, principally Mamagili and some others. The typical Maldivian boat is called Adoni. Depending on the distance of the destination island from the airport, resorts organize domestic flight plus boat transfers, seaplane flights directly to the resort island jetty, or speedboat trips for their guests. There are also locally run ferries using large Dhoni boats. Speedboats and seaplanes tend to be more expensive, while travel by Dhoni, although slower, is relatively cheaper and convenient. Education. <inaudible> 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 The Maldives National University is one of the country's three institutions of higher education. Its mission statement is as follows To create, discover, preserve and disseminate knowledge that are necessary to enhance the lives and livelihoods of people and essential for the cultural, social and economic development of the society so that this nation shall remain free and Islamic forever. In 1973, the Allied Health Services Training Center the forerunner of the Faculty of Health Sciences was established by the Ministry of Health. The Vocational Training Center was established in 1974, providing training for mechanical and electrical trades. In 1984, the Institute for Teacher Education was created and the School of Hotel and Catering Services was established in 1987 to provide trained personnel for the tourist industry. 
In 1991, the Institute of Management and Administration was created to train staff for public and private services. In 1998, the Maldives College of Higher Education was founded. The Institute of Shara and Law was founded in January 1999. In 2000 the college launched its first degree program, Bachelor of Arts. On 17 January 2011 the Maldives National University Act was passed by the President of the Maldives. The Maldives National University was named on 15 February 2011. Topic. See also Topic. Index of Maldives related articles Outline of Maldives Topic. References Topic. Topic. Further reading Topic. Topic. External links Topic. Official tourist information President's office Maldives. The World Factbook. Central Intelligence Agency. Maldives from UCB Libraries Govpubs Maldives at Curlie Maldives from the BBC News Wikimedia Atlas of Maldives Key development forecasts for the Maldives from International Futures Constitution of the Republic of Maldives